Well, this here is a wild one. A driver steals a crime scene van, then leads police on a high speed chase. News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen talked to police and a neighbor about what transpired over the weekend. Early Saturday morning, police were dispatched to an injury crash in Hermitage. From Anthony Street, you can see the debris left behind. Police believe it started here on Prentice Drive, where she lost control of her vehicle. You can see the tire marks here. Officers think she actually went airborne over these railroad tracks and landed on Old Hickory Boulevard, where she crashed into multiple cars. One person was taken to the hospital. A crime scene investigations officer rolled up on the crash and got out to see if everyone was okay. That's when they say the driver who caused the wreck got in the CSI van and took off. That's pretty brazen. <laughs> Police chased her for miles all the way to Madison at Berkeley and Cortland Drive. They say she got out and surrendered to police. That's like a movie like neighbor Patrick Boyle missed all the commotion. There's definitely crazy things that could happen up and down Gallatin, so it doesn't surprise me, but I'm glad I was asleep for it. The driver was later identified as Bridget Johnson. You got nothing to lose, I guess. I don't know. Like, geez, you're just kind of doubling down on all your problems. Johnson was arrested for theft of the CSI van, evading arrest, leaving the scene of an injury accident, failure to render aid, and having drug paraphernalia in her car. They reportedly found a vape pen, a burnt paper roll, and rolling paper. Oof, she must not walk in to get caught. Reporting in Madison, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5. He said it best, just like a scene out of a movie. Wow, Alexander, thank you. Fortunately, that MNPD crime scene van was not damaged, and police tell us nothing was missing.